weird. I haven't done this in a while. Oh, and I'm making direct eye contact with everyone that's outside. That's fantastic. Hey, y'all, what's up? It's Coach Mara. I'm sick of telling or saying that, like, hey, I'm back. Like, sorry for the break. So we're going to acknowledge it, and we're going to move on. Today is a more laid-back, chit-chatty, hence why we're in this office location and mainly because if you hear like a like chainsaw in the background um they're sawing a tree down in my backyard right now so if it picks up sorry but i don't think so they've stopped for lunch i think but fingers crossed i want this to kind of be a part of my channel in like a series kind of thing um where it's just like chill chats but i don't know what to call it i'm thinking either huddle huddle chat or I don't know just chit chat with Mara I don't know I future Mara will figure it out in the meantime I have my list here I feel super organized if you haven't subscribed by now 96.9% .9 of you um please join the family I'm I'm Mara if you don't know me I'm a volleyball coach I just finished up coaching my oh, third year fourth fourth year coaching um the first time coaching for the city so super exciting but i am a coach i'm also a player and not a very good one but i'm a little at practice <laughs> so if you want to hear from me hear about my life hear about my stories hear my opinions uh, and you want some advice on a few few things stick around this is the place for you okay now why do i hate spandex mara it's volleyball everybody loves spandex Sorry, I'm getting a snack. Right? Wrong. I hate spandex, okay? Spandex shorts, to me, are the one of the most uncomfortable pieces of clothing I could possibly wear. And yes, I do wear leggings. Like, Lululemon leggings, Lululemon Align leggings, fantastic. I also wear biker shorts. So, I, I get the whole spandex vibe. However, sports spandex, at least the ones that I've tried, are always made really badly i find spandex super uncomfortable because a it's either always too short or b it's cut in a way so where the fabric always wants to move up and down it won't just stay where it is so you're always constantly readjusting while you're playing and it's super distracting so just for reference my body shape i i haven't asked like volleyball ass let's go so I have I have bigger hips and I have a smaller waist by comparison so shorts normally don't fit me very well it's just it is what it is but spandex sh supposedly should because it's supposed to like be very form-fitting and like basically be stuck to your body that's not the case um all the spandex I've tried which is Under Armour Nike I tried a Mizuno one once it was just it never stayed where it was supposed to. And I was constantly pulling down my shorts or pulling them up because they were too long or pulling them down because they were giving me a wedgie and then it was really bad because then my underwear would get in a bunch and it's like, oh, now I have to serve and I have a wedgie. Like it's really, it's really uncomfortable times. I find, I just, I don't like it. What are the other reasons I had here? Oh, another thing I hate about spandex is the fact that it was imposed by like the governing leagues or whatever i don't know when or who decided this but somebody decided some man it had to be a man some man decided in like the 90s or 80s or something that all women have to wear skin tight super short shorts when playing volleyball and i don't know why because it's super how do you say Like, it just sexualizes the sport to, like, another extreme. And in fact, volleyball is a sport. If you were a serious volleyball player, it's a serious game. Like, it's not like, oh, I'm just gonna go get this ball. Uh -huh. No, it's like, I'm running, I'm sweating, I'm not looking very cute kind of thing. So having that, like, sexy volleyball player attitude really comes through at least very first from the get-go with spandex. Because before that, in, for kids at least, it's like you just wear the shorts that you have. So most kids would wear soccer shorts, which are really loose, or basketball shorts, which are great. But per league regulations, you needed span black spandex 
in order to play which I had a really big problem with. I was like, I don't understand. Why do I have to wear them this like weird, obscure, very uncomfortable piece of clothing to play a sport when I can play basketball in anything? Like I don't have to wear those shorts. I can wear whatever shorts I want or soccer or whatever. It didn't make sense. And it still doesn't make sense to me. So I don't love that. I also don't love the fact that there's a big theme in sports where it's kind of, I hate to say it, but it's kind of unfair and kind of misogynistic, actually, to where there's different expectations for girls' sports versus boys' sports. And again, the whole separation based on only two genders is also something to talk about, but that can be a future video because I have lots to say about that. However, the differentiation factor between girls' volleyball and boys' volleyball, there's lots, but on spandex, girls, it's regulated. You pretty much have to wear it. But then in boys, you, you can wear whatever you want. So they have no regulations. You don't have to wear spandex. You can wear whatever shorts, and you don't have to wear knee pads. And I, I remember I was looking at other teams that would play, again, that would play on, the boys t- on the boys' team when we'd have like tournaments together or whatever. And I would ask my coach, I'm like, why aren't they wearing spandex? Because we have to wear spandex. And they were like, oh, they don't have to. And I asked, well, that doesn't make sense. Why? And they were like, I don't know. It's just the rules. And I'm like, hmm. Why? Again, to the, like, hyper-sexualizing of the sport. It's like, why are men allowed to wear whatever shorts they want? And then women are supposed to wear these tight, skimpy spandex shorts. Just doesn't feel good with me. And then you have stories that came out. I think this came out a year ago or so. It was like the Norwegian or Swedish volleyball team. I'll find the link for it and I'll leave it down below. There's so many things that I wish I could say about this, but it was like the Norwegian volleyball team came to their competition, like their worldwide volleyball competition in like basketball shorts. And the internet was like up in arms. They were like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Why haven't, why hasn't anyone done this? I'm like, because it's been regulated for years. Okay, hi everybody, Editing Mara here. Realized (laughs) I didn't make an outro. So, here I am to end today's video. Thank you so much for hearing my rambly, but still very valid um, opinions on spandex. If you have any other suggestions for me about things you wanna hear my opinions on, controversial or not, um, please leave them in the comments below. I'm happy to hear and answer any of your guys' questions. And, that is the end of today's video. So thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. See you guys in the next video. Good job team. So sorry for people that hate like chewing noises. I'm one of those people, but I'm really hungry. Um, another thing I hate There we go. That's everything. Um, I feel like I had more to say, but obviously not.